Well, I'll start out by um, I'll start out by introducing myself. Um, my name is Tabana Evans, and I'm the founder of Guapcoin. Um, Guapcoin is a cryptocurrency that I developed to be a voice of the quote unquote voiceless. Um, Guapcoin is definitely taken on a lot more meaning um, in the current climate of America, where, which we're founded and operated out of. Um, so I'll get into a little bit about that, but a little bit about my background. I have been in technology for 25 years, um, probably even more. I, I keep saying 25 years, but the years keep going. Um, I've been in technology for 25 years, everything from a developer to a designer to a founder, um, now data scientist, and of course, blockchain engineer. I um, had to do everything. I mean, because I'm, I'm sure most women know as founders in this, um, we're, we are the illustrious bootstrappers and we have such great ideas of things we want to do, but we can't necessarily, maybe we can't necessarily afford to hire the people to do it. Or maybe people just don't hear us or take us seriously. I don't know, but I've been through everything from A to Z um, when it comes to the marginalization of women in tech. Um, mainly when I got into being a founder. Uh, when I was working in tech, I just, I guess I was happy being invisible. As long as I worked and I got a check and a good check and I can take care of my kids, which I have eight, I was good. <laughs> but when I started to want to put out some of the ideas that I have, because I felt like my ideas can help make this a better world, that's when I ran into the ceiling, so to speak. Um, and I was quite surprised. Um, I really was. I thought that tech was a very innovative space. I thought it was a very open space. I didn't visualize it as, I, even though it was male dominated, in my mind, I felt, well, you know, the reason it's male dominated is because there's more males here. <laughs> um, I, and never in my mind did I think that women may possibly make more le less money than the males that are working here, or women could be blocked out of working here. Never did these things cross my mind. I was just so excited to get a great job and something that I did well that I enjoyed doing. Um, a great career, something I can go home to my family, to my parents, to everyone else and be very proud of because I was making, you know, making a great living and have, had a great career. So it wasn't until I stepped out into doing my own thing that I was like, whoa, pump the brakes. Um, this may not be something I'm allowed to do. Um, I founded a company back in 2014. I founded a platform called Safe to Me, which was a platform developed to um, determine whether or not someone was safe um, to meet in less than five minutes. So if you're going out on Craigslist or you're going out various places, um, you want to use this tool before you step out and meet someone to guarantee, you know, we are guaranteeing or vouching for your safety. Um, so we put that out there. We got a lot of media and press attention, but we could not raise the funding that we needed. We couldn't raise any funding. We literally probably raised, and this is within our small circle, maybe $50,000. And um, you're talking about a technology that pulls from all different types of resources and APIs, LexisNexis, um, relationships that um, verify people all over the world that, that could be costly. Um, and we didn't quite figure out a, um, a revenue model right away. Um, later on, we did. But again, we couldn't raise the money to do it. So at that point, I'm like, OK, you know, I, I was into crypto at that point. I saw how uh, startups were raising funds with crypto, ICOs and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know what, if we can't get money, then maybe we need to make our own. Um, and that was a two part. Um, thing when it came to Guapcoin because years ago I I also felt that as a person of color African American it would be a great thing if we had our own currency that we can circulate amongst African American businesses because maybe this is something that can help build up um, the pride to keep to continue to support businesses in our community because you know when it comes to develop uh, when it comes to launching businesses at that time in our community, 
yeah, we might launch businesses, but a lot of them didn't stay open, didn't retain customers, could not compete with other marketers out there. So we suffered from a lot of different problems in that area. And I thought having our own currency could solve a lot of those problems. So fast forward to cryptocurrency, all up my alley. It's all, it's all tech. Um, I know I wasn't a blockchain developer at the time, but I was a developer. So jumping in and actually doing this to me was like, oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. And initially it was. Initially we launched on Ethereum, like many other blockchains, um, like many other cryptos. But I knew we were going to have to have our own. We were going to have to have something that stood out from everyone because just simply being an Ethereum token, Ethereum token wasn't enough. And I know a lot of women out there, especially founders, could may go through the experience of what I'm doing is just not enough, even though everybody else is doing it and maybe the men are doing it. I have to do something. I have to go far beyond the fold in order to just be recognized, in order so people can see my stuff, people can hear me and people can take me seriously. So again, we were like, we have to um, create our own blockchain so that we can be taken seriously. And we did. So I had about two iterations of the blockchain, which were forks of a cryptocurrency that's out there called Dash. Um, my last iteration or my last fork was uh, completed last summer. And that's our current stable version. So we're stable. Um, as of a week ago, we launched on our first exchange. We're on Probit. We're trading at Probit right now anywhere between 18 cent to 30 cent. Um, we um, launched in, you know, Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko, and we did all of the things a crypto is supposed to do. Um, thank you. So we're trading. Um, we're out there. We're real. Like we're real now. You know, we've been out there for a while. I was very hesitant on launching on an exchange because I knew the exchange would be my biggest, my biggest fight, and actually it is. Because what we currently have going on right now is we have to build our community, but you know we may have people who want to sabotage our project, people who um, um, really just want to sabotage our project. So we have people that may go on the exchange and attempt to drive the price, drive the value of Guap down very low, and make it appear that we're trying to dump our own coin. Just things like that. We deal with trolls in Telegram. We deal with trolls online. Um, and some of the biggest, our biggest opposition has been, believe it or not, my personal biggest opposition has been other Black women. So um, it's been, this has been um, something that has driven me so far out of my comfort zone because now it's no longer just a project, it's a fight. Um, yeah. Hey, if someone mentioned haters, um, and and I'm such a, you know, very shy, just want to do for people type person, so I can't really understand the logic behind that. Um, so you know, but I hear what people say when you get to this level. Wait, be ready for the big guns. And I'm dealing with something different in tech that some a lot of tech startups aren't dealing with. I'm dealing with money. It's not just tech. It's money. So when you get in the money game, you're, it, it's literally war. It's war against many people. It may be war against banking. It may be war against the status quo. It may be war against poverty. Um, and even people in poverty may be resistant to this type of change simply because people don't believe that it can be done. People don't believe that a person of color could launch a legitimate cryptocurrency that is accepted all over the world. They don't believe a woman can launch a cryptocurrency that's accepted all over the world. So um, I, I forgive the haters because of that. Um, and, and I've had a tremendous amount of support. I don't wanna give the platform to quote unquote the haters. Um, we have a lot of great milestones in our project in terms of um, we have what's called super nodes, which are master nodes, which are equivalent to mining, but we don't use a lot of electricity or any of that to generate our coins or process our transactions. We're green, you know, because we love this earth, right? Um, but um, one of the things that sets us aside from other blockchain projects is we're literally over 80% women. 
So you won't find a master coin out there, uh, a master node coin out there that has a bunch of master node holders that are women. So that's super excited and exciting. We also have a 501c3 foundation, which is a block foundation. And the majority of our members in the Glock Foundation, of course, are women as well. And these are professional women that believe in the project. So that's super exciting. Um, we do have some men out there, uh, quite a few men that are diehard and supporters as well. And I thank them. Um, but again, we have a lot to prove from every angle. We have the, the gender angle to prove. We have the color angle to prove. And we just have the wow factor angle to prove. So it's an everyday fight. Um, a lot. I, I thought that I once we launched um, on the exchanges and et cetera, that maybe I could get some sleep. Well, my sleep is diminished even more. So, um, but I would have to say to the founders out there, you know, don't let this this game suck you in so much that you forget to live life. Um, I made it my policy to balance living life with founding and running companies, et cetera. And um, because I have to for just my own peace of mind and my own sanity. And of course, for my family, I, you know, like I got a lot of kids, got to, you know, the kids have to have fun. They have to have mommy. Um, so don't feel bad if you have to take time off if you have to do some things with your children, if you have to um, have fun, you know, have your own hobby. Um, I do art, I'm an artist. So I balance it with art. I'm a gamer, you know, I love VR. I play VR, I actually own a VR company now too. So um, don't, you know, balance it out because, you know, running yourself ragged over a company is never worth it, never worth it at all. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I see a lot of comments coming and I'm trying to um, get them. But we've, we've made incredible milestones. And sometimes when I sit and think about what we've accomplished that no one else has accomplished, it's like really super overwhelming. I'm like, whoa, you know, um, I've never been afraid of, you know, what potential obstacles that I could, could face. Um, my intention is to always get publicized what our intention is, what we want to do. I feel that women, we want to change the world for real, for real. It's not too many of us that are really in this for the money. You know, the money is good, but if we don't change the world, we have nowhere to spend the money. <laughs> you know, we, we have nothing to do with the money if everything is on fire and, and blown up. So, you know, we, we have a lot of consciousness when it comes to our business. We bring a lot of light worker energy to our business when we're um, in business nowadays. So it's a great time to be a woman in tech. It definitely is. It's a great time to be a woman in business. Um, this is a time where we can be more authentic than we've ever been. Hey. Um, so I, I think I kind of ran over <laughs> my, um, cause I, I got a late start. Um, thank you very much. And I, I hope I've inspired you, you know, just d bring as much of yourself into this as possible. You know, um, I'm a, I, I do so many things and honestly, I would not have been able to make it without the spiritual grounding that I have you know, that I had to seek in order to be prepared for this. Because like I said, it's a war. You're going to fight a war some kind of way. You know, when you become, when you decide to step out and have your own company and you're a woman or found a, a movement or organization, you're going to find yourself stepping into a war, especially if you're the type of person that has avoided the battle all your life, like myself. Um, you spent time behind the computer. You spent time in the home with the children. You spent time behind the veil, as we call it, right? And you just decided that you wanted to make a change and it was time to rip off all of those different layers and step out into the front in the open. So if my story inspires you, that's great. Um, I, I know there's a lot of other women out here that will inspire you to do some great things. So at any rate, um, I think I'll wrap this up. You're welcome.
<laughs> I think my session is over. I see we have some moderators down there. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any mentors that help you? Someone asked me if I have any mentors. I have tons of mentors. That's one of the things that I've been blessed with is spiritual guides and mentors all along the way. Um, I, I've been blessed with people. I've been blessed with, I, I like to call people just angels, just, just pop up somewhere. I may go somewhere and I'm speaking and someone comes up afterward out of the blue and just grabs my hand and tells me, don't give up. That's been the phrase of my whole journey this, these last years is don't give up. I've heard that at least a hundred times, random times from random people. And always when you feel like just about the lowest, there's some spirit that comes in and just kind of lifts you up and picks you up and says, it's okay. It's all right. You're still in the game. We're still here supporting you. So, you know, just note that while it may look like it's very hard on the outside, there's somebody on the other side helping you along. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think, I think my moderators are on strike. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for attending my session. I know it was like a, a little bit of a, a late start, but um, if that can inspire you, that's all I need to do. And be definitely check us out, guapcoin.org. I'm Crypto Diva on Twitter. Um, I'm, I'm a weird guapcoin on Twitter. I'm Crypto Diva on Instagram. Um, we're guapcoin on Instagram. So um, follow us and, and um, definitely I love to hear your input about what we're doing. And, you know, even if you have any tips or, or suggestions, we are open to that as well. Thank you. I don't know if the moderator is supposed to end this, so I'm supposed to end this. Bye-bye. <laughs> we'll go see someone else's session now. Oh, yeah, they actually, there's some moderator panels down there. I don't know if they stopped this. Hello, Nawal. Yeah, there's some moderators here. So um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Bye-bye. <laughs>